The chain rule is probably one of the most important um, differentiation rules because it allows you to differentiate a much more variety of functions. Like, you know how to differentiate cosine of x, that's going to be negative sine of x, but you don't know how to differentiate cosine of 2x. It's not negative sine of 2x, by the way. You don't know how to differentiate cosine of x plus 1. You don't know how to differentiate cosine of x squared. You don't know how to differentiate cosine of square root of x minus 1. You only know how to differentiate cosine of x. But if you know the chain rule, you can differentiate cosine of 2x, cosine of x plus 1, cosine of any other function of x staying within. You know, you know how to you know how to differentiate x to the seventh power. You bring the seven down, and you subtract one from the seven in the exponent. So you get seven x to the sixth for the derivative. But you don't know how to differentiate x plus nine to the seventh power. I guess you can multiply it out if you want to, but that's not going to be a smart way of doing it. And you don't know how to differentiate two x two x plus one to the seventh power. You don't know how to differentiate cosine of x to the seventh power you don't you don't know how to differentiate any of this except x to the seventh so the chain rule is going to be very valuable because it allows you to differentiate the composite composite functions and what composite functions are it is it is a function that has a function within itself like cosine of 2x cosine of 2x is a function but you see you have 2x a function of x within cosine of x plus 1 the same way x plus 1 is the inner function and cosine and taking the cosine of that is the outer function so you using the chain rule it allows you to differentiate composite functions and i'll show you how to do it if both y equals f of u and u equals g of x are differentiable functions of u and x respectively then this is the important part derivative of y with respect to x is derivative of y with respect to u times the derivative of u with respect to x let me show you what 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 it means by that in this case derivative with respect to x of sine of 2x in this case the 2x is u because it's the inner function it's the function within a function so the what's going to be the derivative of this it's not going to be cosine of 2x, by the way. Let's start by looking at this. You first need to find dy du. And this entire thing, sine of 2x is y, and 2x is u. So what's going to be the, what's going to be the derivative of sine of u? Well, derivative of sine of u is going to be cosine of u. In this case, you see we're differentiating with respect to u. So you're going to have the answer in terms of u. And then you are multiplying it by du dx or derivative of u with respect to x. Well, u is 2x, so you're going to multiply this by derivative of 2x or 2. So you have 2 times cosine of u, and since u is 2x, you have 2 times cosine of 2x. Let me, let me show you one more so you, you know what's going on. Derivative with respect to x of sine of x squared. In this case, x squared is u, so you start by finding dy du, or derivative of sine of u, and that's going to be cosine of u, and then you multiply it by derivative of u, and u is x squared, so derivative of u is going to be 2x, so this thing is going to be 2x times cosine of u, or cosine of x squared. Now, the chain rule can also be written as derivative with respect to x of f of g of x, or f of u is same thing as f prime of g of x times g prime of x. This thing is the same thing as this. And why is it the same? You have derivative with respect to x of a function, the entire function, and in this case, that's y. And it's saying that the same thing as derivative of f with respect to u. So in this case, the sine of 2x was f of x, f of, f of, f of u, to be more exact, and 2x was u. And you found the derivative of the entire function with respect to u, which was cosine of u. Then you're multiplying by derivative of g of x, or g of x is u, so u prime. So you multiply it by 2 to get the final answer. So this thing and this thing are practically the same thing.